When a coin becomes stuck to the die after being struck and continues to be struck by other planchets, over time this causes the struck coin to wrap around the die, creating a cap-like shape with significant distortion, making each example one of a kind. Several factors contribute to the coin's value. Die cap errors are relatively rare, especially on larger coins like the Kennedy of dollar, due to the likelihood of the cap breaking off early. The unique appearance of an each error, combined with popularity of Kennedy of dollars, attracts collectors. Additionally, NGC certification adds credibility and desirability. This wonderful piece, a very rare error coin, ended up selling for $2,040 at 30 auctions. Dear coin collectors, before we jump on to the next coin, please make sure to hit that subscribe button below and ring the bell not to miss out on our latest uploads. And don't forget to leave a comment below if you have such coins in your collection or pocket change. So presenting you another rarity, 1923 S. Lincoln Sand in Mint State 64 Red. Any gem 1923 S. Lincoln Sand in gem condition, regardless of color designation, is rarity. And in the red category, even near gem prices are scarce. This coin displays original copper red luster with blushes of deep amber and almond toning. The 1923S is almost always seen with heavy dye erosion with device details softened. What makes this coin particularly desirable is its red designation. The red label refers to the coin's original reddish-orange copper color, indicating it has retained its vibrant hue with minimal oxidation or toning over time. Most surviving 1923s scents have toned to a brownish color, so finding one with a red designation is rare and commands a premium among collectors. This elusive scent in a green PCGS label, graded MS64 red, ended up selling for $3840, also at 30 auctions. Moving on to this relatively modern coin, 2004p Sacagawea dollar, in MS64 condition. As you can see, the toning is not identical for manganese brass uh, planchet, because this is an error coin struck on a status quarter planchet during, as a result of mint slip up. Graded in mint state 64 by Anex. According to Heritage Auction, the first clue that the present lot is a mint error is its color, as I mentioned before. It's of unusual golden appearance. Instead of usual golden appearance, the coin is silvery, with only subtle tan toning. The rims are even in width. Broad near 730 and narrow in 130. The strike is soft on the rim near off, where the spreading planchet was unrestrained by the color dye. The TS in the states exhibit minor stretching, also characteristic of wrong planchet error. The luster surfaces are smooth, save for delicate contact on Saka JVS face. This magnificent error coin, formerly from the collection of Fred Weinberg, ended up selling for $4,440 at 30 auctions. Presenting our next coin, 1936D Washington Quarter, in Mint State 67, graded by NGC. And it was later proven by CEC. As you can see, it has green CEC label on the front side of the slab. This obviously original superb gem is ideal for collectors who desires nothing but the finest example available. Magenta, crimson and orange gold patina colors of verse periphery, leaving the centers on that side and virtually the entire reverse brilliant. The coin is satiny and fully struck. The 1936D quarter is also rare in comparison to its Fran San Francisco cousin which had a lower mintage but perhaps benefited from the mystique always attached to S-mint coins. 
When found, 1936 D quarters are generally well struck but may suffer from dye erosion that left the fields furrowed. A letter slightly distorted, the gems are noticeably scarcer than for other entries from this period, but enough have been certified to satisfy the more advanced collectors. These attractively toned superb gem graded him in stage 67 and later proven by CEC, ended up selling for $2,760 recently at heritage auctions. Here we have another error coin, 1926 peace dollar in mean state 66 plus with double die reverse VAM2 variety. Distinctive die doubling on the lower reverse elements, especially the olive branch, identifies VAM2 variety. This coin uses a verse die 1 with what VAM world calls a tiny thread like impression in Tyra, band below was spray. The die marker is weak on this piece due to die erosion. But it is visible, the coin also lacks the horizontal die crack at the Liberty's bus truncation that will peg the obverse die too. This high-end premium gem displays brilliant cartwheel luster and strong strike with no major abrasions. It ended up selling for $7,200 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for joining me in exploring the fascinating story of these US coins. Whether you are a seasoned numismatist or just starting your collection, keep an eye out for coins like these. They have unique story to tell and can be valuable additions to any collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notification bell so you never miss an update on the most interesting coins and the hidden treasures in the numismatic world. Until the next time and God's willing, see you in the next video.